Hi guys, this is Jar Arts Fight and welcome to another tutorial. Now in this tutorial we'll be going over how to create a really nice um, gun formation using the plugin trap code form. Now I realise that you need the plugin trap code form to do this and that not all of you have it but I'm sure you can find ways of getting it and if you don't have it then I'm sorry but you can't really do this tutorial but if you really want to do it then you'll find a way to get it. Wink face. <laughs> Um, anyways, yeah, let's just get on with the tutorial guys. Now, um, I've seen a lot of people do this. Now, there are a couple tutorials on this already, but I've kind of, I go more in depth into how to do this effect. So I'm just going to show you what the effect is here, and then um, we'll get started. So I'll just show it to you here. Oh, that it. Hmm, it seems to have unpreviewed for some reason. But you can kind of see it in slow motion there. The gun kind of goes a bit all funny. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. And then it appears. Now it is a nice effect. Um, it looks really good when you come in straight from, like the first clip in an episode, or like when you come out from a um, cinematic. This will appear, and then it goes all cool with the particles, and then it goes. To, it basically forms the gun, and then it fades in, and it goes into the clip, and then boom. But obviously, this isn't a clip. This is just something I recorded five minutes ago. Um, and actually, this doesn't need to be this long. I can just chop this down. Um, so yeah, all we're going to be doing is going over the how these particles are created and how to make them form the gun here and then obviously it fades in here so yeah, I'm just going to get straight into it I'm just going to make a new folder here so I can keep all my stuff organised I'm going to call this uh, form tut and I'm going to stick it inside there okay, so we just make a new composition call this form or whatever doesn't really need to be anything that interesting I'm just going to make it 5 seconds long 59.94 frames per second and obviously 1280 by 720 um, and we're going to drop our clip in there so here's our clip now as you can see it is just a recording of me oh it's a bit glitchy but it is literally um, if I put this down to half you can see it is just me um, standing still in a 5 second clip now, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this layout by holding Command or Control D, or going to Edit and then Duplicate here. Um, so we've got two. Now on the top one, uh, bottom one, sorry, we just want to bring the opacity by pressing T down to zero. We don't want to see that one just yet. On the one above it, we need to mask around the gun. Now, this can take time if you do it um, uh, like in detail, but because he doesn't require that much detail, I'm just going to rush it quickly. Um, grab the pen tool and just mask around. You don't have to mask, um, it's not that hard. Just click the pen tool up here, make sure you've got your layer selected, and just start dragging. And when you click, you can drag to curve it, or you can just do a straight click. But if you're watching a tutorial this, this kind of advanced, then you should know how to um, use a uh, masking because most people can mask these days, like it's pretty much. You can't really be an editor if you don't have to mask, because <laughs> this is what people do. Um, in pretty much every single edit I've seen, there's always a bit of masking. But yeah, um, I'm sorry for getting the mouse clicks. I'm using a new microphone, which is really high, like not high pitch but sensitive, um, and it probably does pick up the mouse clicks. And as you see, I'm not exactly going around the edges here, um, just because you don't really need to be that exact with it. I mean. I'm rushing this because I want to, it would like when I did that example it took me um like you know, five minutes to mask school but I'm just kind of rushing it here so we don't have to spend five minutes masking and you're watching me mask because masking can get boring but the good thing is you only need to mask one frame so it doesn't take super long like this like this like that there we go bring it up here and go like that okay so we've now masked the gun now the important thing is make sure you're still on the first frame right click the top layer go to time and click freeze frame so now you don't have to animate the mask at all it's just one single frame it's basically put the first frame throughout the entire clip now it's like a still image now mask is pretty bad as you can see I'm just gonna make sure you've got the mask layer selected hit M um, click the arrow again and I'm just gonna bring the feather to roughly 5 just to feather a little bit maybe 8 something like that just so it looks a bit nicer and isn't like as harsh to the eyes um, I'm gonna call this one gun just like that and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold down shift command C or 
you can go to layer pre-compose make sure you've got move all attributes into the new composition I'm going to call this gun mask so now what we've done is there's no mask on this actual layer now if I just yep uh, so if you go into it you can actually see you can actually edit the mask in this one but if we actually go into the actual main composition there's no masks it's just one whole big layer again so now we've done the boring bit we've done the masking we can actually get into the trap code form so you want to go to make sure you've got the gun mask selected click effect trap code and then form and it's gone it's just a box there now now the first thing you want to do is under base form you want to go to size X increase to the basically the size of your composition so I'm gonna go 1280 which is the size of the width and Y which is the up is 720 so 1280 by 720 720p HD um, makes sense really if you kind of know that kind of stuff um, then the particles in three in Z sorry you want to change it to one and you can actually have it as two if you want I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with two I think and the particles in X I'm going to change to hmm, I'm going to do 450 the more particles you have the longer it will take to render so if you have a slow computer or a laptop I wouldn't advise doing lots of particles so as you can see we've got this kind of weird looking white box now you, you see you've got the kind of the lighter edge here and then and so on but that's because we have two sets of um, layers so if we looked at it 3D from the top view you'd see this this darker layer and then further back in 3D space, you should see this other layer. And because there's two overlapping, it looks like this layer in the middle is darker, lighter, sorry. So if we do particles in Z to 1, you'll see it's gone. But because we're going back, it does that. Um, okay, so I'm actually going to leave it at 1 just so for the sake of this tutorial. So we've done that now. Now you want to actually get this on the actual gun because the gun's just gone now. Now to do this, you want to click on the down arrow on layer maps. Go to color and alpha, change the layer to gun mask, nothing happens. Functionality RGBA to RGBA, still nothing happens. Map over to XY, and voila, you now have your gun, but you can't really see it very well. It's, you can see it's got the lines on it, but the lines are now only appearing on the actual gun instead of all over the map. So we're pretty much done now. We've done the interest, uh, kind of the main um, effect. Now to get it going all crazy and all the like the like displacement, you want to under fractal field, click that down, and where it's displace, you want to bring displace up to roughly 750. I'm going to go with. As you can see, if I bring this up to full, so it's better quality, you can see we've got all our particles going crazy now. Now what you can do is you can hit the stopwatch when you're on the first frame, go forward to say 130, so go forward one and a half minute one and a half seconds, bring displace down to zero and now the gun's back so if we watch through this you'll see the particles are going all displacey and they're casually slowly getting um, more and more close to the gun shape as you can see it goes into the gun now that's, the, that's kind of the main bit but in the example I showed you you'll see it goes all crazy all up here and everything and then it goes down to there so that's what we're going to do next Oh, wrong one. Let's go with that. And we don't need this one open anymore. So we've got this. If we click U on the gun mask layer, it'll bring up the keyframes. Now you want to go to World Transform here. And what you can do is you can hit the keyframes for X, Y, and Z rotation, the little stopwatches. Now if you turn the X rotation up, I tend to do minus 180 on that one I showed you. So now it's up here, it's not down here anymore. You can then bring the Y rotation up to say bring it over here. So maybe 150 brings it over here. And the Z rotation, you can just play with this kind of turns it round. Um, so you say something somewhere like there. That looks pretty cool. Now if I hit U again and U again one more time, you'll see it brings up all, all the new keyframes we've added. Now we can go to the 1 second 30 mark again and you'll see our gun is all um, formed, but it's in a weird um, rotation. So now we just want to bring all these rotation values back to zero like that adds three new keyframes so now if you watch through it you'll see the rotation goes all crazy and it kind of this is pretty cool actually it's swinging around almost so it starts all crazy here and then it goes whoosh and it swings and then whoosh like that 
I don't know how we can see that because I'm struggling to see it on my actual screen. Um, I'll run preview in a second for you. So now we've basically got this done. Now what we want to do is have the um, uh, background fade in. So to do this, we go back. We just get rid of these. This for now, we've got our gun formation background here. Now what you want to do is you want to go to the first frame and go to time enable time. Oh, not enable time mapping. My bad. Go to time freeze frame. Now you want to go to where it's fully done. So at one thirty, bring this layer above the last layer. Hit the open square bracket to align it to the one minute thirty mark. Hit T to bring the opacity up, and you can now keep, hit the stopwatch. Go for ten frames maybe. Bring the opacity up to one hundred. So now it goes like this, and then it fades in. Now what you can do as well is you can duplicate the background the that we just added and put it beneath, so it doesn't look as bad when it fades in. So it doesn't look as dramatic, even though it's a little bit of white, it does fade in, in like 10 frames, so it does fade in quickly. Um, then what you can do is you can hit Shift Command D to split the layer on the 1 second 40 mark where it's fully faded in. You can go to then Time, oh sorry, you hit U on the one you've just split and you can delete the freeze frame. So now what happens is it comes in and then it carries on playing the clip normally. If I put it down to half again, you can see this. Um, and then the clip carries on playing. I'm just going to re RAM preview this for you to show you. So the particles go all crazy like this. I think it looks really nice actually, the kind of way it swings a bit. Now, there are some more things we can do to the particles, which I'll show you in a minute. But as you can see, it then forms the gun here. The background fades in and then a clip carries on, you see all the smoke's moving and the gun's moving and everything. So if we just play this through when it finishes, whoosh, and there we go, and it carries on like nothing happened. Looks pretty cool, don't you think? You can then also, some other things you can do to the particular, uh, the track grid form, sorry, is go to, um, I'm trying to remember where it is, is it kaleidoscope? No. Uh, fractal field, here we go. Where it says flow X, Y, and Z, you can increase the flow to five. I want to increase the flow Z to five as well. And the flow evolution, you can increase to maybe 150. And this basically makes it flow a lot. Look, basically, it flows a lot more and it looks really nice. Now, you then you can increase the particles in Z up to two if you want. This to be a bit, bit crazy, so it changes it completely. So I've got some crazy ass particles here. If we ramp preview this again, it's going to take a bit slower because obviously there's um, we've duplicated the amount of particles there are. But it's a really nice effect this because it just if you kind of add a color correction over this, you add this um, effect in after you've done like your like this the intro cinematics. Then this kind of is the first transition into the gun. Um, and then obviously when he finishes the transition he scopes in and it looks really cool so there we go we can just play this through now so there you go it looks pretty cool you've got the particles going all crazy and obviously it's going quite fast so you don't have to have it go that fast you can obviously increase the length but yeah um, that's the end of the tutorial guys it's got some really nice effects it just looks really nice in my opinion I'm definitely going to start using this a lot more I hope you guys found this useful. Be sure to leave a like, comment on tutorials you want to see in the future. Um, I really want to get tutorial ideas from you guys because I want to do videos you want to see. That is really important. So um, I have had a couple of suggestions which I will be working on. But other than that, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, be sure to subscribe, check out me on Twitter and Facebook. I do post regular updates on both of them. And I shall see you guys later.